Joe Bonamassa here at my house. Wow, this is a rare treat for me, actually, because I never get to go home. Um, we're doing something today that uh, I've never done before, actually. Is, uh, you know, Gibson, over the last three years, has been nice enough to come out with uh, not one, not two, but three uh, signature guitars for me. And truth be told, I've never a b would them. So I don't really know what the result's going to be, but, you know, it's always fun to kind of experiment in front of all you people. Um, this guitar that I'm playing right now is the initial prototype. Now, on the live gigs, I play JB, the serial number is JB001. This one is actually predates that. This is the very first one they sent me. It's like written in Magic Marker, Proto, JB. And uh, this is the one I used on the Ballad of John Henry. And I toured with it a bit, but it's really special. I mean, like, this was the one that, like, never, you know, when you're a kid in your bedroom, you never thought in a million years that you would have a Gibson with your name on it. So this one's really, really special. And again, thank you, Pat Foley and Rick Gambar and everybody at the Gibson Custom Shop for getting it started and, and you know, continuing on with it. So, uh, yeah, this one sounds really good. It's really light and um, you know, based on a few Les Pauls that I owned at the time. And uh, this one sits in my guitar room. It's, you know, again, very special. The second one in the gang of three is um, this gold top uh, that uh, the Gibson factory, USA factory makes. Um, th these are the newest ones. Um, and it would be best to be described as uh, like a Les Paul studio appointment. Um, you know, the inspiration behind this was to, to get something that was a Gibson, Gibson guitar. Um, but again, keep the cost down, you know, because, uh, you know, not everybody has, you know, $4,000 for a, for a custom shop one. So, and, it, and it's important for me to get these guitars into the hands of like, you know, kids and, you know, people who want them. And, you know, I'm honored anybody, you know, to go out and play these things. And uh, this one here is actually a good one. I actually, uh, I use it as a... I actually use it uh, for a couple of songs live um, on the last tour on, on a few shows. And uh, it, this was my, my, my main warm-up, you know, Les Paul in the dressing room. So this one sounds a, um, a bit different from the custom shop, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> And uh, it sounds really good. It's, it's a guitar, it's a working man's guitar. You can take it on the gigs, play it. You know, the whole point of these things is to take them out, play them, beat them up, scratch them up, make them yours. The next one we have is um, actually, the, in a weird way, the rarest. Um, this is the Epiphone. Uh, these came out last year, and we did a limited edition uh, model. Uh, it was a thousand Epiphones. And um, they sent me the box of certificates to this house right here this position I sat and they needed them overnighted back to make the uh, to make the manufacturing date and have you ever seen a thousand sheets of paper like really thin it was a stack this tall and I sat there one after the next signing signing and signing and again I was really honored and we did these because we wanted to really keep the, the, the cost down and this is mostly a guitar for for kids and when they came out, um, the initial thousand sold out in like three or four days, and people complained that they, they couldn't get them because um, they, they literally would go through the music store's hands and like and they were like pre-sold. So that's why we're doing the the the, the, the USA one as well. But uh, this one kind of sounds like this. <laughs> pretty consistent you know I mean they're all pretty consistent you know, they have the burst buckers um, and all these guitars are prototypes you know this is the very first Epiphone this is the very first uh, kind of the Joe Bonamassa studio one and um, they probably sound a bit more matched if I bothered to to um, actually raise the pickups all the same but again this is an experiment on camera but um, I really do dig them you know because they do have a really good sound and um, you know again it's like you know I wouldn't put my name on something that was kind of inferior and and so we really took our time and you know thank you to 
you know, Jim Rosenberg and everybody at, over at Epiphone for, uh, for really working hard on it. And uh, thank everybody at the Gibson USA shop and, of course, the custom shop. So there it is, models one, two, and three. Who would have thought, ladies and gentlemen? Who would have thought?